Ramadan Mabarak, everybody. Ramadan Mabarak. D night is back. Fell on like Allah. You yeah, know what I'm saying, bro? Hey, dude. Today is another day. It's day six of Ramadan. Uh, yesterday was day five, I believe. I'm not mistaken. If I'm mistaken, I will put it up right here. So, hey, it's a warm day outside. Got the chicken legs out. The leg gonna be goddamn walking like baby in this thing, you know? But, hey, today it's gonna be me honestly talking about what Ramadan means for me. Uh, throughout the vlog, the vlog is literally going to be me talking about Ramadan in different settings uh, because I feel like I got a lot of things to say up to other people out there who are Muslim and not the best Muslim or the ideal Muslim out there, you know. I feel like I can be something that can give you guys hope, give you guys, you know, a little extra push to get become better, bro, because I'm not a good person, honestly. Uh, I'm a good person on the outside, but on the inside, I'm very wicked and evil and sinful, bro. That is shameful to even talk about, but I want to talk about it to you guys because I feel like this will help out a lot of people in the month of Ramadan because Ramadan for me means a month for redemption, a month to gather myself, rebuild myself, and honestly get back to my true roots, you know? Because I was, I don't know, I was never a good person. I was never a good goody two shoe. I was never a good Muslim. Let me not say good person. I was a good person, but a good Muslim, a good believer of God, and a good follower of Allah, you know, I was never that good, good of a person. But, hey, today is going to be cool. I got to get my hair fixed up. I'm about to go to work today. It's the car, a.k.a. work, you know. Uh, yeah, man, it's a beautiful day outside, bro. No fun, just still in the apartment, but it is what it is. We're working on that. But it's a beautiful day outside. I'll show you guys real quick a little review. Yeah, man, it's beautiful outside. Hello. I uh, can't see much. It's, it's crazy. But yeah, man. Woo. Gotta get the thing to focus. This is the iPhone 15, by the way. But anyway, let's get the day started, baby. Wide angle lens. Activate it. Let's go. All right. So right now, I don't know what's, well, I do know what's going on. Right now in Tiger, uh, there's a lot of traffic. They shut down the highways for now. They're starting to expand the highways from a two lane to a three lane, maybe four lanes. So I'm up here at Safeway right now, just chilling, waiting on an order type stuff, you know? and <clears throat> just trying to see what's going on i'm gonna give it about 20 minutes at safeway if nothing pops i'm going to fred meyer in north beaverton walker road because i need to make some money on because i'm trying to have some fun on you know and it's a beautiful day outside bro. just look how beautiful it is man i'm gonna give you guys some time lapse so hey next scene is gonna be a time lapse let's go guys i just got finished dropping off an order and i want to show you guys this beautiful view in beaverton oregon right now you guys gonna see the mountains and everything i'll zoom in for you guys as well on the camera well in the video you can see mount hood from here and also you can see the mountain in washington so that mountain right there you guys see to the left i'm not sure you guys can see it right now damn let me cut down here real quick Want you guys to see it. So that's the mountain in Washington. They got two mountains, three mountains in Washington. One right here. That's one of the mountains. And they got a mountain right up there. As you guys can see the snow on top of that mountain. And I'm about to bust a U-turn inside of somebody uh driveway. <laughs> Cause I went down the wrong way. I wanted to show you guys the mountain view because it's beautiful out here. It snows out here a lot more than other places. Uh, yeah, man. It's nice, bro. It's freaking nice, dude. I'm trying to get an up close view of me. So, right now, hey, it snows more in this area because if it's like 35, 34 degrees, 
in the city, up in the high mountain parts of the city, it snows more. So that's one thing a lot of people here know about, you know? So right here, you guys gonna see Mount Hood. I see Mount Hood right now, but it's not a good angle to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> dang, I don't know where to go. I forgot where I'm at. Where the hell am I going, guys? I forgot where I'm at. Where I'm at? Hey. It's nothing like Colorado, because in Denver, Colorado, and Salt Lake City, they are surrounded by mountains. But here, the mountains are far away. They're like an hour and 30 minutes away from the city. So yeah, let's keep driving through here. Make sure I'm going the right way. Probably not. I don't know. Nope, I'm lost. I'll pick you guys up when I find myself. Hold on. All right, so I found my way back to the exit. I, I don't, I've never been out here before. I've never been in this neighborhood. But you guys are about to see Mount Galaga Hut. Mount Galaga Hut. Mount Galaga Hut and Hut and Hut and Hut and Hut and Hut and look at that, boy. You guys are about to see the beautiful mountain. So right here, that's a Porsche. And there go Mount Hood. Beautiful view. You guys can check that out. Soak it in. My phone is in the sun. Got to get it out the sun for overheat. So yeah, man. They got views on views in Oregon, bro. They built their city in a valley and on top of hills. So that's pretty awesome. One thing I like about it. Let's take a ride with me. I'm not gonna play no music. I'm just gonna ride. You know? Hope no cop pull up. A cop pull up. And I'm getting pulled over. Get pulled over. Pulled over. keep driving i might take you guys to this little viewpoint that's like down the street from my house where you can see mount hood pretty well you can see the whole valley you can see everything yeah man it's a beautiful day outside and i heard a lot of you guys want to know about the area in portland oregon yeah <laughs> it's one of the back roads by the way neighborhoods back roads beautiful that's beautiful. And it snows up here more than it snows on the ground. And people from Oregon know what I mean when I say it snows up here more than the ground. The ground is basically below, you know, down below. Yeah. You guys about to see Mount Hood a little better from here. Hope so. I'm about to go down this big hill. Yep. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. This car is on my ass. Not knowing I'm not from Oregon. I zoomed in for you guys. You guys can see the view. Just beautiful. I love Oregon, bro. I just wish they kept there. I wish they got their politicians and stuff correct and fixed. That city will be great. Cajun Creole, Louisiana, Mississippi type stuff, you know, for uh, to break my fast Ramadan. So I'm about to make a beef gumbo. I'm gonna get beef, chicken, sh sh not shrimp, beef, chicken. I'm gonna get beef, chicken, uh, some sausages. I'm not even sure we got like any type of flour or anything. So I gotta make the roux with the flowers, stuff like that. So yeah, man, it's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm gonna go make that up. Uh, you say you gotta have butter, gotta have flour, put it in a little pan, stir it up, and 
Yeah. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna get. I'll show you. All right, so I grab some all perfect flour. So I really don't need to make a big pot. So don't need that much flour at all. I hit up Brandon and Brandon said he don't even know if they got flour. So I just bought some anyway. We got some chicken breast. Uh, not chicken breast, chicken thighs, yeah. Ah, uh, some beef stew, beef broth. And all I need to do is find like some rice. I'm go with the cheapest thing, bro. The boy balling on a budget. Ain't no shame in that. So, not even sure if they're gonna eat some because him and his girlfriend gonna be over. Not sure if Northwestern people even like gumbo, but I told my whole friend group about it, you know. But get some rice. Eve. Sorry about that. Damn, buddy, I'm gonna ram you over, motherfucker. You big ass boy. I'm gonna bulldoze my ass. But yeah, gotta get the vegetables. I'm gonna get them already chopped up. I don't know which way the cheaper. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be cheaper buying them without them chopped up. But I'm gonna weigh some prices out. I'll catch you guys when I'm out the store. And yeah, man. About to make it happen, bruh. I get the thing cracking the phone. Hey. Let's go and get out this door. Let's get back to the crib. Let's go. All right, guys, this is my first time making brew. I literally got the all-purpose flour right here, and I hope I don't burn it. They said it takes about five to 10 minutes before it start turning brown. So I already got the stuff cut up. Vegetables here, that, uh, the meat in there, the beef and chicken is in there. I got some celery, some green onions, and carrots of course so i mean right now i'm trying to see where i'm gonna put you guys at put you guys right here it'd be a good little spot <clears throat> damn that thing's slippery Flour. Let me see how I'm gonna do this. I wanna, man, I'm from Mississippi, bro. We're from the South. We don't measure stuff. We literally pour it until it answers until it stops pouring. Cause that's what I'm about to do. So, if I mess this brew up, and that's my ass. <laughs> All right, pour a little something in here. Hope I don't pour too much. All right, that should be a little starter. Get your spatula. Ah, that's about perfect right there. That's about perfect. Yeah, that's enough for it. It's enough flour. So basically they say keep stirring it until it turns a brown color. I'm gonna let you guys see how it looks right here. So it has to turn like a dark brown. And they said don't burn it. So I hope I don't have it too high. Because you can burn this stuff pretty quick. So this is supposed to be something like the paste of the gumbo. And you gotta be very careful with it. And I hope I'm not cooking it too fast because it's starting to turn a little brown, you know. Already. So let's keep staring it. <clears throat> Trying to get to that color. That dark brown color. I'm gonna pick you guys up when it's literally dark brown. All right, we're almost here, almost there. But hey, I'm pretty sure I did it wrong because when I look at other people, their they brew don't look like paste. Mine look like paste. It's like I'm cooking paste, bro. But hey, <clears throat> it's getting a little brown. I'm gonna let it get a little darker. Then I add the uh beef broth in there and put all the vegetables in and add some water so hey i'll catch y'all when it's ready let's go all right night family it is literally what about six days later i think six days later uh it is the 24th, so it's the 14th day of Ramadan, and hey, probably like 9 o'clock at night. Did a couple little workouts, you know, flex the physique type stuff like that. People are still skinny. I'm working on it. 
But anyway, I hope you guys did find yourself enjoy today's video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel where we see more videos from you. Of course, I'm about to wash the hair. Uh, my hair is a mess. It's, it's freaking hella. Like, it's hella on the side, hella hair. But I'm about to rock it tomorrow. We really don't give a damn. Do what I do, you know. Anyway, love you guys. Ramadan Mabarak. I'm out. Peace.